Welcome researcher, please, insert your keycard to access the chosen file. Thank you, processing. Your file is ready to view. Item hash, SCP-2095 Objects Class, Safe Special Containment Procedures. Reliquary Site 26 was constructed around SCP-2095, preventing access and enclosing it from view. Site 26 has been disguised as a weather observatory and agents within the Greek government are to ensure that the site is publicly viewed as such. Description SCP-2095 is a primarily subterranean temple complex one located at Gyaros, an arid and uninhabited Greek island in the Aegean Sea. Structure predates previously known archaeological sites on the island. Inscriptions found within have included Cretan hieroglyphs, linear array, Hittite cuneiform, and a previously unknown writing system composed of spiral-shaped glyphs varying in complexity. SCP-2095 is composed of entirely biological material and is believed to have once been a living organism. Samples taken from SCP-2095 have revealed bone, chitin, muscle, adipose and viscera. Radiocarbon dating has placed the subject's death at Cal 1200 to 1000 BCE, 1, with soft tissue having undergone a form of embalmment. Chambers are connected together via tunnels which are structurally and cellularly similar to the inner lining of the human intestinal tract. Large sphincters appear to have served as doors and are permanently relaxed. These portals would have likely been able to open and close as needed pre-mortem. The largest room contains an altar composed of bone, a component of the SCP-2095 organism. Forensic evidence suggests that it was used in a sacrificial manner. It is believed possible that living sacrifices provided SCP-2095 with the nutrients necessary for its survival and the floor itself shows signs of acidic corrosion. The base of the altar has been carved into a nail rubberose, believed to be a symbol of religious importance to the creators of SCP-2095. Twenty-nine scrolls were discovered within the northernmost chamber of SCP-2095. Only four were found to be written in Hittite cuneiform while the rest remain undecipherable. Of those four, three are considered to be of a spiritual, philosophical nature while one appears to be an inventory report. Foundation archaeologists have found evidence of warfare throughout the island. This has included skeletal remains depicting likely anomalous causes for death such as implosion, internal combustion, disintegration, radiation poisoning, and fatal physical reconfiguration. The Foundation became aware of SCP-2095 after reports of a cathedral of bone being discovered by a team of Greek archaeologists who had been studying a large mound on the Isle of Gyaros. Class B amnestics were administered and the archaeologists were returned to the general population. SCP-2095 was easily secured and construction of Reliquary Site 26 was completed by December 9, 1949. Access granted resources, illegible, 1,340 slaves, 10 surrendered at the Shrine of Consumption when the Black Moon holds dominion over the heavens 12 built to of gold, pure 3 1,200 goats 300 pigs, fragment missing, our sacred legion, 3,000 to detect faithful 500 Thrace and faithful, including 12, storm beasts, 2,000 Urar 2, converts, conscripts, 400 Sardinian mercenaries 250 Koski and faithful 100 Kafter conspirators, can their loyalty be trusted when they so easily betrayed their own question mark for 300 Mycenaean mercenaries armory, 2550 bone crafted blades and shields 2000 bone crafted bows 10,000 bone crafted arrows, poison with hellebore and venom of adder 60 amphora of, illegible, 200 amphora of liquid fire 20 cursed tablets, placed around perimeter of island 1 amphora of red death, access granted the wound, cut from the flesh of totality, deep, it severed the line of future and past. Drawn to its ancient fester, God swarmed as flies to a corpse. We waited within bloodless veins, faithful to that which we could not know, unable to imagine that we might become their greater. Here, we slept, until our souls became flesh. Sun Alku, 
Access granted. Heavily stained. Paragraph illegible. The swineherd prostrated himself before the sorcerer king and asked, Great sorcerer king and Moserimach, heart of man and light of light. I speak for the folk of the cold marsh. We fear the red lanterns that dance without harmony, our spirit guides warn of ill omens. And I did assure the man, I have gazed upon the faceless ones, servitors of his undulating vastness. Their chief is blind, castrated by our words and will. He sings songs of anarchy but they will not come again. These terrible spirits do not deserve our love, render unto them no sacrifice until the stars have aligned. Sinvith, access granted and to his flock, I and thus spoke, I have stepped beyond the flow of dreams, stood before the old ones within their own desolate domain. I have endured their intolerable force, across countless eons. I have seen the infinite dead worlds, murdered death herself. I have read the entrails of our Creator, beheld eternity unfurled. Know that our paradise draws near. And with our own flesh shall we birth it. Since Scalidentum, on May 24, 2014, an earthquake occurred in the Aegean Sea. Reliquary Site 26 was unharmed, as were the anomalous objects retained within since its construction. SCP-2095 did however suffer some structural damage but proved to be a serendipitous event. A hitherto unknown sphincter, sealed and hidden through calcification, had ruptured open within the altar chamber. Exploration of the chamber led to the discovery of the body of a human male. Individual has shown no signs of decay and although lacking a detectable heartbeat, EEG scans have revealed low-level brain activity. Research into the subject and its relationship with SCP-2095 is currently ongoing. Found inside was a single well-preserved scroll, strewn carelessly and likely never meant to be contained within. Deduced to be a letter, it is believed to have been written by the ruling authority at SCP-2095 but had been unsent, possibly due to events directly referenced within. The document has been translated and is now accessible for viewing by Foundation personnel. Access granted Grand Karsis Tyan, may this missive find you at Kidra, for it shall be my last. Our enemies have begun their assault on the island but we have completed the rite of preservation. The temple will sleep and await resurrection by the children of Adam. The fallen kingdoms and followers of Mekain have united against us, even as their nations crumble. Still. They have transmuted our every victory in the region to that of defeat, even as their own fates are sealed. The Bleeding Heart is our last stronghold in the Aegean Sea but no doubt our eastern domain remains strong under your eternal gaze. The wounds sustained today will heal, into the ages of ages, we are undying. Their victory here shall be hollow. Karsis Mexa has claimed their profane instruments and sails for Kithra as I write this. I vow that none are to leave this island alive. May their names be obliterated and their flesh consumed. We summon the Red Death. For the blood of Hedens, we sacrifice ourselves. We will meet again in Edom. I remain, Karsist Unda's footnotes 1. Part of the outer structure is above ground. The interior of SCP-2095 is entirely subsurface. 2. Of the writing systems used at SCP-2095, only Hittite cuneiform has been translated. 3. 360 kg. 4. Likely Minones, contacts remains unknown.